Hey there, this is Michael Backman from John Henry and Ramblin' Minds. I'm here to share my impressions of Honor's uh, brand new uh, microphone called the Harp Blaster HB52. This is a real pleasant surprise. It's a uh, collaboration between Honor and SE Electronics. What are the features of this microphone that makes me really like it? Well, first of all, it's the size. Uh, I don't have Sonny Boy Williamson hands that are huge. So, so uh, gripping a microphone and a harmonica, which is the key to, to getting a good amplified sound, is getting that really tight grip, has always been a bit of a challenge to me. This is the uh, classic JT30, which is like the most common harp mic out there. And if you compare these two in size, and from the front. This is much easier to get a really good tight grip keeping it in my hand and sealing off with my right hand. So that which is like I said the, the key to get a really good really good sound. A tight cup then opening up and going in places in between there. So you have a bunch of tonal variety possibilities there just by using your hands. Uh, another thing I really like is the volume control. The volume put is in the back of the microphone, where it is not in the way of my playing. I can. Uh, there's no risk of accidentally changing your volume, and if you want to do it while you play, you can still just, you know, reach out with your with your pinky, and you can adjust the volume really easily. So that's great placement. The construction is very gives a very solid impression. Uh, Honer says that uh, you can actually hammer nails with this one. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that now, but I'm pretty sure that it would you would be able to do it. So a real real solid design, and uh, they haven't sacrificed the looks. I mean, it's it's a cool looking microphone got all the great features of the old microphones and also this is interesting that the front is really flat like that most other microphones are a bit curved in the front so this means that if you want to you can get even closer to the microphone get the harmonica closer to the microphone the cable that connects to the microphone is a XLR cable so so it will really you know once you plug that in, it doesn't come out unless you want to. More importantly, what does it sound like? Uh, let's try the volume put then. This was volume cranked all the way up, and then I'm going to turn it down a little bit and a little bit more. Let's see how that affects the sound. down a bit. Yeah, still good bite, but less volume. The tone of it kind of decreases when you go down, but not as much as I've, I'm accustomed to with volume puts. So this works really well, I think. You still have that, that bitey sound, but you can back off in volume. Here's a low harmonica. A uh, Honer Thunderbird. Yeah, cool sound. And let's take it up a bit. Uh, crossover. Honer Crossover Marine Band in the key of F.
So, all in all, I'm really, I'm really happy with this microphone. The small size of the microphone, making it easy to really cup, getting really airtight. The flat front, the great looks of it, the, the really solid construction, the volume put in the back, and the XLR contact. All in all, I'm a happy camper. Thanks for watching.